Now, we are going to take up one more problem on projections of laminas. Problem number 103. How to solve this problem by using AutoCAD software. The problem reads as a square plate of 30 mm sides rests on HP such that one of its diagonals is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and 45 degrees to VP. Draw its projections. So here, yes, uh, this is the final solution what we have to get. So how to do this by using AutoCAD software. So to do that, so we need to go for this uh, AutoCAD screen and here we have uh, the locus also and we need to find out the beta inclination. So to do that, so first we we'll go to the AutoCAD screen, switch on the grid mode and switch on the ortho mode. The command is limits Specify lower left corner by default 0, 0, upper right corner state 297, 210. Then zoom off, then go to line, select some arbitrary point, click on first button of the mouse and drag the mouse towards the right side and take some distance. Again, click on first button of the mouse. And again, you take the cursor to the top side, take some distance and click on first button of the mouse. Then go to offset, take the distance as 297. Select this vertical line and offset to the left side and then go to offset, take the distance as 210. Select this horizontal line and offset to the top side. Then go to zoom, extends, zoom 0.6x. Then go to fillet between these two. So this will going to give the A4 size sheet. Once you get this, then go to layer and click on new layer. Take the layer by name XY and then click on new, take the layer by front view and click on new, take the layer by name top view and click on new, take the layer by name locus. So we, since we have the beta inclination, so we need to find we to take the locus. So layer 0 will contain the projector lines. All the projector lines will be at 0 0.05. We select this, then XY line will have the line weight as 0.13 then the front view will go to have 0.5 okay and then the top view will going to have the layer as 0.5 and say okay then the locus line will going to have a 0 0.05 and say okay then the top view will going to have the line way line type of locus should be dashed out so by default you have continuous you just click on load select the cursor here and type d dash dot select this dash dot and say okay now the dash dot line type will be loaded on the loaded line types and click on dash dot and say OK. Now the dash dot has been changed. Then the top view will going to have a magenta color and say in the front view we are going to have the blue color. To do that, now we are going to close this. Then go to, now we need to construct this. So this is at uh, 45 degrees. So go to polygon. So number of sides is 4, go to edge option, select this, take at the rate 30, so I think it is the 30 mm, so 30 less than 45 degree. So this is how we are going to write the polygon of 45 mm for the 45 degree. Then go to line, select some arbitrary point and take this, then go to line take intersection point of this and take perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this again go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between this line and this line so between these two then go to select this line go to layer make that layer as front view escape then you click on this Go to layer, make that layer as top view and then switch on the line weight display now. So once you do that, then go to break, select this, take first point, take intersection point of this and say at the rate. Then go to copy, copy this entire thing to the next position. Then here, so take this line and uh, go by 30 degrees. So to do that, so just uh, go to rotate, select this entire thing, go to end point. So end of this, take the rotation angle 
as 30 degrees. So here you type 30 in counterclockwise direction is positive. Then go to line, take intersection part of this and drag this side. Then go to line, take INT of this and take this. Now we go for DBIM, then go to modify. So you take the primary units as up to second decimal point. So go to text, take the text height as 3, align with the dimension line, center becomes above and this as 3, then symbols and arrows, take the arrow size as 3 and the lines as 0. So here offset from the origin as 3. Now once you do that, now we will want to check uh, the dimension. Now we go for line, take intersection part of this and drag this similarly line. So go to line, take end point of this and draw a horizontal line. Then go to line, take intersection part of this. Then go to trim, select these two and trim this till here and trim these two here. Then go to line, take end point of this and go to line, take INT of this and draw perpendicular to this line. Similarly line, take INT of this and draw perpendicular to this. Then go to fillet between this line and this line. Then you just come down to zoom window. Then go to line, take INT of this and take INT of this and take INT of this and take intersection point of this and say close. Once you do that, so then go to break, select this, take first point, take INT of this and say at the rate. Similarly, break first point, take INT of this and take at the rate. Now once you do that, now you just select these four and make this line as layer top. Once you do that, now we need to check the dimension of this. Go to dim, take INT of this and take INT of this. So once you do that, you are going to get 42.43 here. Then again, then zoom previous. So zoom window. So you take the, this is the true length line and go to dim, take INT of this and take intersection point of this. So here you are going to get it as 36.474. Now we need to go for to find out the beta inclination. So to do that, so here we go for, uh, we go for this angle 45 degrees. So this is, we need to find out the apparent inclination because this length is apparent length. So go to nearest. So you take at the rate, you take 100 plus than minus 45. Then go to circle, take nearest point on this, take the true length of this, you take this dimension which is uh, radius as 42.43. Then go to line, take INT of this and draw a horizontal line which is a locus line. Then go to break, break this circle till here and break this circle till here. Then go to erase this arc. Then go to trim. Trim this line till here. Then go to circle. Take center of this. Take the center and then go to take the radius as 36.74. So then uh, go to break. Break this line, this circle here and break this arc here. So when you do that, now we need to copy this. So to copy this, you go for copy, select this, all these uh, four entities and then go to take intersection point of this and you take center of this. So take the either this center or this center, both will going to give you the same thing. Then go to rotate, select this entire drawing, go to rotate, select this entire drawing. Once you do that, then take base point, take INT of this, then go to reference. So specify the rotation angle, INT of this, and take the second point as INT of this, then the new angle as INT of this. So once you do that, so you're going to get this. Now you just click on this line, go to layer, make that layer as locus layer and then take this as 10. 
so we need to get this once you get this now this is the beta inclination line so you just go to break break this line till here then go to move and place it wherever you want so go to move and place it wherever you want want to do that then go to line so now you take int of this and draw perpendicular to this so one should do that now we have this perpendicular then uh, from each of these points you draw the and the horizontal projectors so you're going to get this angle one should do this so now we go to line take int of this and draw a horizontal line and take intersection which are these two points these two points and these two which are those here like int of this and take perpendicular to this then go to line take int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two similarly line take int of this and then go to line take int of this and take perpendicular to this then go to fillet between this line and this line and go to line take int of this and take intersection point of this and take int of this and take int of this and say close once you do that then go to extend extend th this line till to this boundary then go to break break this here and then say erase then you select these lines and you select this and go to layer make that layer as x y once you do sorry we just select on these four lines take this as x no you just take it as front view take it as front view once you do that now you select this line this line and make that layer as x y so now once you do that you just go to erase erase these two which is not required to be shown so then go to dim take intersection point of this and take int of this so here put up the ortho mode so you're going to get uh, the text uh, you type it as 30 so now you place it now go to ddim sorry ddim and then go to modify click on primary units make the precision as zero and say okay and say close so once you do that then go to dim so come down to dim so go to angular select between these two now you are going to get it as 30 degrees similarly angular dim take angular select between this line and this line so you are going to get it as 45 degrees similarly angular select between this line and this line so you go to text give space and enter so this will going to be the beta inclination go to dim tad select this dimension and you place it wherever you want so now we go for d text so similarly dim tad select this dimension and bring it nearer so now we go to d text so select some arbitrary point here and take the text height as 3 then rotation angle of text as 0 take x and you mark this as vp and you mark this as hp and you mark this as y and put up the caps lock take a you take b you take c and you take d similarly you mark this as a dash you mark this as b dash and you mark this as c dash and then you mark this as d dash once you do that then go to move switch on the auto mode take this as x and this as vp and this as hp similarly you take a dash you take b dash you take c dash and you take b dash so you take a and you take b and you take c and you take d then you select uh, hp a b c and d you make this layer as top view and similarly you select this entire thing by window 
then go to layer make that layer as front view then uh, you just go to copy copy this a dash here and you copy this b dash here and you copy this b dash here and you copy this c dash here once you do that you take copy a here and that a will come here similarly copy b and that b will come here and you take c copy c here and then d here and that d will come here similarly go to d text so here you type uh, a dash and here you type b dash here you type c dash and here you type d dash then go to move take a dash to type b dash to type c dash and to type d dash so you select a dash b dash c dash and d dash and you make this layer as front view then here go to m text select this as the boundary so go to formatting go to sorry formatting then go to come down to symbol go to symbol put on the caps lock type beta p and then select move and uh, here just go to move select this and place it where you want then this is how you will be able to solve this problem by using AutoCAD software and this is what you will go to get but these dimensions are not required to be shown so that is the reason why we are not showing and these are all these explanation for explanation purpose we have given this but when you are doing it in computer this is the final solution what you are expected to do in the examination thank you